The roof was raised by the explosions. Here everything around was covered with mines and bullets. Mikhail Yurchenko lives in Hranitna village. The man recalls the aftermath of shelling in 2014 and 2015. He says houses on almost every street were destroyed. They shoot here all the time starting from 2014 up to this day. Every day we go to bed under shooting sounds and wake up. Residential buildings in Hranitna are being restored by rescuers from the Lviv region. Rescuers are also repairing the roof of the house of the pensioner Clara Pudy. The guys worked eight to six every day, even in the evenings until they repaired everything. It is necessary to have time to repair the roofs in the village before the rains start. Rescuers set the task of repairing 62 houses in 60 days. All our employees understand the importance of the task. We want people to understand that the rescuers are always there, that the State Emergency Service of Ukraine carries out these works and will always help them in any situation. Our guys work from morning till night. I think we can do everything. In Hranitne, rescuers have have restored more than 50 houses. The works will last until the end of October. We work on the first line, in the closest proximity to the demarcation line. We felt all the feelings of local residents and we understand them. Now rescuers from eight regions of Ukraine are involved in the repair works. They were distributed over seven civil military administrations in eastern Ukraine. Over the four years of work, rescuers have repaired over 3,000 houses along the contact line in the Donetsk region, reported by Nick Starkov and Nadia Sukharukova for UATV News.